Rebellion. Revelio. from their broom first. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please 
please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> this is brilliant. Wish I had my own. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Good. I've got this. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. 
So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spintwitch's, I'd be on it now. Spintwitch's is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I have. That's that I need one. The broom I have at home is the latest model. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I think Defindo should be taught in the first year. Why stave off the mayhem? I mistook a snuggle of Madam Kagawa. About what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. 
losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Obviously the best greenhouse is the one with the dangerous plants. Nice to see you, my young friend. I wish I had more with Rebellion. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Nice doing business with you. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you.
Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spintwitches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Revelio! Ha! I have no color in 
sympathy. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? Well, we've not took a thing. Revelio. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. And how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. What can I do for you today? I hope to Rebellion. see you. Farewell for now. Revelio. I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity ever so. Revelio. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Incendio. Rebellion. 
Incendio! Have that settled. Please, the Sion has his belongings back. Ranrock and his Hello. Life. Do you have anything for sale? That I do, but uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. That's been a pleasure. Rebellion. 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 Our unfortunate for you. 
Revelio. 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 Rebellion. Rebellion. Protego. Rebellion. Protego. Accio. In 
Shame you're so foul. Repair on. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Send you. Rebellion.
<laughs> Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables. That's all I'll say. Revelio. Never now. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Always late that Pippin. Revelio. Revelio. Always late that Pippin. Pippin should have been here by now. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate Rebellion. it. Rebellion.
Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? I'd like to ask you a few things, if you don't mind. What would you like to know? Would you mind telling me a little about Kingbridge? You've likely heard talk of the thieving troll that unfortunately settled in the area. Been terrorizing people, robs all who pass by. So you'd be wise to remain vigilant whilst traveling near Kingbridge. You would not want to come face to horrid face with that monstrous thing. How did you come to live here in Kingbridge? I've only been here a few years. Used to sell my wares as I traveled. It was an exhausting life, but I never minded it. One day, my travels brought me through Cambridge. I fell in love. Though my travels continued, my heart remained here. So I eventually returned and opened this shop. Been here ever since. I shall live out my days here in Cambridge if I have any say in it, which I suppose I do. What sorts of things do you sell? Potions. I brew each one myself, using only the finest ingredients. I assure you, you won't find their equal anywhere, even in Hogsmeade. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I... What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Rebellio. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens. Would the you mind, mind helping a wizard in distress? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins, that's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help.
Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of travelling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of travelling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. What do you have for sale? Nice of you to stop by. Revelio. Irondale. Revelio. Oh, poor sister. Oh, how I love a good puzzle. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Revelio. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porrick Haggerty, and this is my shop. W what may I help you with? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? What sort of products do you sell? I sell all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. How long have you been living in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. <sighs> she had other plans. I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? 
Glad you were able to stop by. Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? It's uh, good luck for me you stopped by today. Glad you were able to stop by. Rebellio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellio. Rebellio. Hello, Mr. Undii. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Oh, it doesn't appear that you do. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Velcroft can survive. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Hello again, Mr. Undii. Glad to see you back. Do you have the chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Oh, it doesn't appear that you do. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Velcroft can survive. I'll return with the cabbages as soon as I can. Rebellion. Now you should be 
able to travel to and from Feldcroft in an instant. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Revelio. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. <laughs> Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. 
I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. That's a nice fly. Revelio. Rebellion. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you.
there. In the market for potions, are we? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Lumos. Incendio. Revelio. Rebellion. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher.
Revelio. Revelio. Urge your defender holds me against Troll. Revelio. Solving those old treasure maps. I fell asleep in Transfiguration. What's this one about? Revelio. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, Rebellion. a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs.
Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Revelio. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Revelio. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Revelio! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Revelio. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Accio! Rebellion.
Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar... Rebellion. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Revelio. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you.
Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds.
Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Transfiguration, if you have a moment. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor?
Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony while you're the Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. 
No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> 